So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video on Test Prep Card Channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to discuss in today's video. Today we are going to discuss about one of the famous university in Maharashtra. Yes, we are going to discuss about University of Mumbai in this video, which is popularly known as Bombay University sometimes. So those students who are targeting colleges in Mumbai should definitely watch this video. This video is going to be really informative. All right. Without wasting much time, let's start. Now. Let me just tell you what are the topics that we are going to cover in the next 10 minutes. We are going to start by discussing about the highlights of Bombay or Mumbai University. Okay. Then we'll discuss about the courses offered by Bombay University. We'll discuss about the admission process in this university. What is the selection process? What is the admission process? Particularly, we're going to discuss in UG, PG and doctoral programs. Then what are the cutoffs? essentially various colleges under university. So what are those cutoffs we're going to discuss? What is the reservation policy? What is the scholarship opportunities? And what is the placement scenario in this university? Again, after this point of time, if you still have any doubts, any queries, feel free to write in the comment section below. Just ask, we will be there. Okay, let's start. Let's start by discussing about the highlights of this university. So it's a state university means that it is a state funded university established in the year 1857. So 163 year old university. Yes, there are a total of 781 affiliated college under university 781. Can you think of the number 781? That's a great number. Yes. Location is Mumbai. The ranking is 65 by NIRF 2020 and 74 by Outlook 2020. The approval is from UGC, NAC and AIU. It's a co-ed college. The courses which this university offers ranges from UG to PG to doctoral programs plus diploma and certification courses. It offers full-time, part-time and distance learning programs. The accepted entrance test in this university is J mains NEET, MHT CET, NATA, J main paper, MAH, MMS CET, MAH CET, GATE, NET, SET, GPAT, UGC, NET, CSIR, SET, almost all the major entrance exam, I mean that is conducted in India, this university accepts. The mode of application is online and the popular recruiters is IDBI, HDFC, Deloitte, Crystal. I will discuss about this part in the coming slides. Don't worry. The official website is mu.ac.in. So this is just the major highlights of University of Mumbai. Now let's discuss about the courses which this university offers. So let me tell you, this university offers more than 2000 courses. So it is not feasible to cover all those courses in this short video. So I'm just telling you the major departments through which these courses are being offered. So this is from arts, mass communication, education, medical, management, engineering, law, science, vocational courses, commerce, computer applications, hotel management, aviation, agriculture, architecture, paramedical, pharmacy, design, animation, veterinary science. So almost all the courses, just name the course and you'll find it here. Yes. So Mumbai University offers over 2000 UG, PG, diploma, doctoral and certification programs in various fields such as engineering, arts, science, management, accounting, law, library, fine arts, performance and much more. Right. So it will be great if you just visit the site and you'll have much information about the courses which this university offers. Now let's discuss about the admission process. So at Mumbai University application processes are generally out in the last week of May. So yeah, there is time you can just check the site. So in that point of time, they just release the application form in their official website, which is mu.ac.in. Candidates seeking admission to Mumbai University for various UG and PG programs must fill the application form followed by pre enrollment form online. So just do the normal process like you do for the other colleges. For access to the login window of Mumbai University application form 2020, candidates are required to register for just a normal process thing. Yeah, the first thing you have to do the registration, post that you will have login ID credential, then just log in through that login ID credential, fill the application form, upload all the necessary documents, and you are done. So this is just a brief about admission process, which is for the UG and PG. The similar fashions follows in certification programs, distance learning, and PhD. Now let's discuss about the selection process. So in here, I'm going to discuss in detail. Let's start with discussing about the UG courses. Now let's discuss what are the main courses in here. So admission to BA and integrated BA and MA courses is based on the merit score in class 12. So for some courses, there is just your score in class 12. They will just check your score of class 12 and you are in. No more process, just on merit basis. 
but admission to BE is based on valid score, rank in MHCT and JMIN. So for graduation, simple graduation, this is class 12th. As per knowledge, which is BA and BMA, but for the BE and BTEC, they consider the score of MHT, CET or JMINs. Candidates must have a valid NETA score or GE main paper. So essentially for the BTEC, there is an entrance exam, that is a normal entrance exam, GE mains or NATA or MHT CET. So they accept the score. This is the criteria. Once you fulfill the cutoff, satisfy the cutoff, then only you will be called for the further process, which is counseling. Let's discuss about a few more. Admission to BTEC, B Chemical, BTEC, Bachelor of Chemical Engineering courses is based on merit in the qualifying exam of class 12. As I just told, there are a few courses which is just based on your class 12 marks. But for B Pharma Science, a valid score in MHT CET is required. For few courses, this MHT CET scorecard is required. For admission to BSc in Hospitality Science studies will be based on merit on written examination. So again, they conduct some written examination. GD and PI conducted by this university. So it will be great if you visit the site because there are a total of 2000 around courses that university offers. So like suppose if you're targeting X course, then check the eligibility criteria, check the selection process because there are much courses in here. Now let's skip the CUG course and let's move on to discuss about the 2G courses. So admission to MA general or MA in archeology span or numeristics and a few other specialization is based on university conducted entrance exam. So for MA, and related courses there is an entrance exam you just need to qualify that entrance exam then only you will be called for the further process final selection to mli science msw mls med mped education med in hearing impairment mped msc science is based on merit score in the last qualifying degree which is UG level this means that for few courses they will consider your graduation scorecard but for few courses they will consider i mean they will just ask you to give the university entrance exam for few courses there will be definitely gd or pi or small tests that you need to pass on so as to get admission there are a few courses let me just talk about uh mtech right mtech is a great course so ma admission to mu is based on valid gate so for the mtech gate score is of course they will consider your gate score or net or set so this exam score are accepted for mtech so this is just a brief about PG, let's move on and discuss. But before that, let me just announce a very important part here. This is for the NRI students. So for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebook that is related to DASNCIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI ebooks that will really help this NRI guys to prepare well finally for the D-Day. Okay, now let's discuss about the selection process in the doctoral program. So in the doctoral program or postdoctoral courses, candidates seeking admission to PhD are either required to appear for aptitude test conducted by, for the, I mean, this for the admission department or your scorecard, your UGC net scorecard, set, gate or GRF examination of apex body under CSIR, UGC or ICR will also be acknowledged. For MPhil, admission is based on merit score in the last qualifying degree exam that is on PG. So they will consider your post-graduation mark sheet, whatever you, you have, I mean, scored in your post-graduation. Through that, you will be given admission in MPhil, right? Again, they offer many courses and there are many other specializations too. Will be great if you just visit the site, check your desired course and specialization. Okay. Now let's move on and discuss about the cutoff. So as I just told, there are a total of 2000 plus courses that this university offers. So it is not feasible to cover all the cutoffs of those courses, right? So I've provided you a few links. This will be really helpful. Visit www.universitycareers360.com slash article slash Mumbai University cutoff hashtag Mumbai University cutoff 2019. First round. So there are first round, second round, third round, even in this link only. If you just type 2020, you will have the cutoff of 2020. Again, visit another site, which is www.cutoffs.aglasim.com slash 157.531. There is one more. www.teachaseducation.com, Mumbai University, Commerce, FYBMS. So this is, I think, for the course, particularly FYBMS. Again, if you just put your desired course, provided the name is correct, you will be directly open to the cutoff page. So this is just the brief about the cutoffs. Let's discuss about the reservation policy. So in the reservation, it says that now this is a little different. Why this is a little different? Because this is a state university, right? Central University is under MHRD. So MHRD rules, regulations is very clear, right? For the state, it varies. It changes from state to state. For this state, I mean, for the Maharashtra, the Mumbai University reservation is such that for the SC candidates, that is scheduled caste, 13% of the total seats reserved for SC. 
for the ST this is 7%, for the OBC this is 19%. You remember for the MHRD if you talk about some central university or uh, college or university which is falling under MHRD there was 27% for the OBC this is 19% in here. For DTA this is 3%, for NTB this is 2.5%, for NTC this is 3.5%, for NTD this is 2%. Visit the site www.coep.org.in slash page slash assets 558 information brochure.pdf again you will be open to the reservation policy what is the reservation policy in this university this will really help the nris guys to also check on what is their reservation policy for nris ciwgc pios right all right let's discuss about the other aspect of this university which is the scholarship so mumbai university scholarship options are again they offers ample scholarship opportunities like the lotus foundation scholarship or uh, syndicate bank golden jubilee scholarship dr alzira rogers Borges Scholarship, the late Rao Shahib Vishwanath Narayan Mandalik Prize, the late Sri V. S. Gore Memorial Scholarship, the Sant Kumar Bijuria Scholarship. There are much scholarship options in here, but again, as there are a total of around 700 plus colleges in this university, so many of the colleges may have low fees, many of the colleges may have chances that may have that high fees. So, in that particular college, just check the ratio of the scholarship, right? Like suppose the fee for let's say if you're doing an MBA and let's say the fees is 20 lakh rupees. Let's assume a case for the two year you're spending 20 lakh rupees for MBA. So you see these courses are actually professional courses. So in the professional courses there are very less chances that you get scholarship. Right? Maybe you'll be given fellowship or some internship kind of thing where you can reimburse or earn some money but not directly the scholarship provided few conditions are met like you are from reserve category and stuffs. All right, let's discuss about the placements. So the placements, the highest package was 5.5 lakhs per annum and the average was 3.2 or 3.3 lakhs per annum. Now you're just thinking about, oh my God, what is this? This is 5.5, 3.2, what I have thought of, what is this? This is because of a very simple reason, I'll just tell you. This university has more than 700 colleges, right? 700 college, let's take an average of 1,000 student per college. That means how many students will be there? 1,000 times 700 that brings us to 7 lakh student so this average is amongst those 7 lakh student right it is just like those 7 lakh students the average we talk about they all have 3.2 lakh per annum in their pocket right so this is not an actual figure because you will definitely go into some particular college so check the placement scenario of that college this is just a brief idea about this Mumbai University as I just told there is no point just discussing about this thing that for the MCOM this is rupees 5 lakh to 6 lakh because this changes from colleges to college this varies right like if I some if I just take a very simple example like uh, suppose GBIMS GBIMS is one of the top MBA college in Maharashtra Mumbai yes and the return on investment is really high just after MFS Delhi. So Faculty of Management Studies, which is in Delhi University. In Delhi University, the fee is somewhere around 20 to 40,000. This is for the two years and the return on investment for those 20 to 40,000 is more than 20 lakhs. 20 lakhs rupees per annum, more than 20 lakh rupees per annum. This is somewhere around 26, 27 lakh. I think the last year or this year yet to come. The similar fashion is in JBIMS. The fees is somewhere around lakh or two lakh. Visit the site, but again, the return on investment is just like more than 20 lakhs right so that changes that varies from college to college so you cannot judge this university because this is a great university mumbai university is the dream college of students in mumbai right because there are many colleges in there top college mediocre college low college i think whatever score you have like suppose if you're scoring let's say 80 percent 90 percent 95 percent 76 percent even 56% in your class 12, you will be definitely given a chance, definitely given an opportunity in Mumbai University, but yes, that would be categorized. Um, like college to college, if you have 95% above, you will be in a very top college. If this is like 80 to 90% low to that college, 60% little lower, right? So this is about the college thing, 781 colleges. Just think about that thing. All right, so this is just a brief about Mumbai University. I hope you like this video. Again, if you have any questions, any queries, any cures regarding admission, then please ask in the comment section below. This is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the coming videos. Thank you.